Okay, so sometimes my students, they'll bring me their calculator and it's got an error on it and it just prevents them from doing any type of calculation. So here's some common models. Um, I'm going to show you how to reset uh, these three. On this first one, this Texas Instruments. Um, this one, you would want to do second and zero and then just confirm that with yes. So. On the Casio, it's a little different. This one's going to be shift nine. And then it's gonna give you some options there. We're gonna go ahead and select three. We're gonna clear the memory out and reset the calculator to the default option. And that would be number three. And then the equal sign just to confirm that. And then on the graphing calculator, my students bring me this one pretty frequently. Let's see, on this one, it is second and then the plus sign. And then there's a bunch of options that come up. We want number seven. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear everything. That would be option number one. And then I'm going to pick um, option number two to reset. And now it's at the factory default settings.